Hello everybody, I'm Ace Ligon and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. I have done some level grinding, so everyone is now level 30 and above, which should be more than enough to actually win this fight that I failed so miserably at last time. So I'm going to give this another go, and hopefully I will actually fucking win this time. And I'm not going to bother with the cutscene, seeing this all last time. There he is. And I looked up the actual strategy for beating this guy. I know how much health he has. Everyone's stronger now. I can take this. I can handle this. Let's see. Do I have haste? I don't think I have haste. Hold on. I'm gonna use Ezina on you. I'm just gonna focus Thunder Attacks, because those are the ones that will help me deal with its fucking water barrier. Just remember, I only have a couple. Oh, I'll uh, use it. Right. Hmm. I'm just gonna continue with thunder. And I also went back into town and actually bought some stuff to help out here. Where is the... There we go, the Echo Herbs. That will cure his silence. You attack. You go ahead and heal everyone, just in case. Attack. You... All out with thunder. Okay. We let's try this. Oh shit. So thunder attack should Yes. So that helps me deal with his uh, water barrier. Cecil, I'm going to have you heal. Good. This is going well. Punch Hegnazzo right in his dumb shit. Okay. Let's cure everyone. <laughs> Just in case he does his, uh, fucking tsunami, which he's probably going to. That was a lot of damage, and... Did I won? Fuck yeah! Awesome! We did it, guys. I beat Kegnazzo by being way over-prepared for it.
Achievement! Yay! Filthy imposter! It's Sid! I do not know what voice I gave him. You got another thing coming if you think you can keep me locked up in a musty old style like that. Eh? Sid. Cecil, you're alive. You have me worried. You, you, you. I'm sorry. What about Rosa? She ran off after you said you were sure you were still alive. We haven't seen her since. Mina, what the heck are you doing? You're noisy. Yeah. She was taken by Goldbats. While oh, you were with her, how could you let that happen? <clears throat> Goldbats, eh? Not enough room to use my airships like that. Has to go and take Rosa, too? And she is in danger, so if you wouldn't mind letting us. Leading us to this flying ship of yours, perhaps we could talk on the way. Who's this test the old timer think he is? Or might ask the same to you. I still can't pull off an old person verse voice. Yeah. Me? You're calling me old? Please, let's not argue. You're Sid, right? This is Stella, a great sage and wizard. That is Young, Grandmaster of the Fabulian Monks. My name is Forum. I'm an apprentice mage from Mysidia. Grown old man acting like children. One who doesn't know how to mind his tongue is my twin brother, Palin. Hmm, <clears throat> goody goody. It is an honor to meet you, sir. I fear our situation does dictate haste. Oh, now there's a man who knows some manners. These guys know. I gave these guys almost the exact same. <laughs> Whatever. Sid, where is this new airship of yours? Heh <laughs> One place no one would ever think to look. I thought it might come in handy one day, so... We don't have time for this blabbering. Rose's life is at stake. I know that. No need to be shouting about it. I heard you the first time. Follow me. Okay, ready for some tragic fucking shit? <laughs> the Brown King, Cagnazzo, depose. Cagnazzo? It's pronounced with a Y in it? Huh. Walls are closing in. We're fucked. It's burned. This one too. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to help a lot. Tell us. For those of you unfamiliar with Final Fantasy, Breaka is a spell that turns people Porum. to stone. Porum. They turned themselves to stone? Hold on now. Yes, or no? Fools, if any of us had to die. It ought to have been me. They were only children. I'll fire up the Enterprise! We'll venge them both! You will answer for this, Golbez. Yep, they, uh, they sacrificed themselves.
Tragic fucking shit. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away, he slew Cagnazzo as well. The man has become a force to be reckoned with. With regards to the final crystal, my lord, I am aware of the situation. The complications are most troublesome. What if you were to have Cecil retrieve it for you? Cecil. He cannot refuse. We hold Rosa. We could offer in exchange the crystal for her life. Indeed. And when he brings it to us, we can finish him then. Very well. I will go and deliver the terms. Kane. I am more than Cecil will ever be. You'll see that soon enough. It's right here at the castle. Darkest place is under the candlestick, or so they say. Who would look for it here? My ear itches. Yep, there is a hidden uh, passageway leading to an underground airship. Incredible! You don't mean to tell me this ship can sail the skies? Sorry I've kept you down here for so long, my sweet enterprise. Yep, I have an airship now. Sweet! Guess it's time to be off then, eh? Let me show you what she can do. Wait. That's... A white flag? Okay, so yeah, we beat Cagnazzo, we got a, or Cagnazzo rather, we have an airship, and we're being effectively blackmailed to go steal a crystal. So yeah, this seems like a great place to end the episode. Time to eat one of my beans. This time, I've got uh, the chocolate pudding or dog food one. I just get my chaser ready. I have a big two liter of Diet Dr. Pepper here to wash this down with. It's chocolate pudding, yay! I'm gonna drink some Dr. Pepper anyway. Oh. <sighs> Refreshing! Thank you all for watching! 
Peace out.